Electronic payments. We use them every day. Simple enough, right? Actually, they're highly complex and a backbone of our economic system. For most of human history, bartering and cash were the only ways to pay. That changed in the 1950s when stores, banks, and credit unions began introducing card payments. Fast forward to 2015 when consumers made more than 94 billion card transactions in the U.S. alone. And behind the scenes, a complex series of interactions take place at light speed to make each of those transactions possible. Here's how it happens. There are four different groups that work together. The merchant's bank, your bank or credit union, the card network, and the processor. First, your information goes to the merchant's bank, who use the card networks to verify that info. Those networks then contact your bank or credit union, which decides whether to approve or decline the transaction. That decision travels all the way back through the system, the network, the merchant's bank, and finally the merchant, and bingo, you're approved. And this all happens in milliseconds, millions of times a day. Maintaining this is no small task, so merchants pay a small fee, which they often call interchange, and it helps pay for this complex system. And that benefits everyone. For businesses, electronic payments make transactions quick, meaning shorter lines and more customers, and also minimize the risk of theft and fraud. For shoppers, it's convenient, safer than carrying around wads of cash, and often brings rewards like points. And the benefits will improve as technology does. The next few years will see exciting features like more mobile payments, wearable payments, and security enhancements such as facial recognition and improved encryption. They may seem simple, but electronic card payments are highly complex and the future of commerce in America and around the world. For more information, visit electronicpaymentscoalition.org.